it's coming along. I was excited to get my hands on this one. Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is going to be a vlog, kind of like a come with me and baby prep type of video. So I'm currently in the nursery or what we'll be using as the nursery and it is just like super clustered and chaotic in here. I'm trying to get organized a little bit. So I thought I would give you some baby updates and show you some of the items I've been getting. And then yesterday we went to our storage unit and we got out so many Many baby clothes that we had in storage from both boys it's kind of crazy I held on to all that stuff but I'm going to be going through it today and getting some stuff ready like to donate and just see what I actually do want to hand down and all of that good stuff so I thought I would take you along there with me too so come with me and let's baby prep Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do before we get into all of the things that we already had in storage for the babies is we're going to do a bit of a baby item haul. So this part of the video is sponsored by Bye Bye Baby. You know I love Bye Bye Baby. I talk about them so much with every kid I have. They're truly like a one-stop shop for every baby item you need, all different brands, all different price points. I took you in there shopping with me when I was pregnant with Arlo and I continue Continue to go there time and time again for all of my nursery needs and all of my baby needs. They also have a rewards program now, which I'll share more about in a little bit, but it, they just continue to get better and better. So I got a ton of stuff from them and I'm super excited because it's really going to help me get this nursery set up. And I feel like this pregnancy is going to move quickly now. Like my first trimester went really slow for me and now I feel like the second trimester is just going to go really quick, especially since it's twins and I know I'll be delivering sooner than I typically would and at the same time that means I need even more baby stuff. So Bye Bye Baby has been having so many deals this holiday season. They had a ton of Cyber Week promotions and then now they are doing a countdown to Christmas where every day there's a different brand that is marked down like insanely. The first thing I want to share with you that I got are all of these diapers right here. So. Honest products were on sale during Cyber Week. They have the cutest prints. They're really soft. We loved their diapers with Arlo. And I'm having so much fun going through all the girly prints. They have some really cute like rainbow ones and flowers and all that stuff. So I got literally size zero through six, a box of each just to start stocking up. I feel like I have a pretty good idea of how many diapers we'll go through with one child, but with two, it's like a whole new ball game. So I just wanna have plenty on hand. <laughs> I stocked up and got a ton of their bath products because we love Honest bath time products, especially the lavender bubble bath. This stuff just smells so good and I feel like I'm going through it really quickly, even just with one baby at a time, but with two babies, especially two different baths. So I got a couple of these and then I also love their lavender lotion. This smells so good. Also got some of the shampoo and body wash and then the detangling spray because I'm gonna have little girls and as they get older, I have to figure out how to do their hair. I know nothing about doing little girls hair. It's so crazy. Like I only know boy bomb life. It'll be a while before I'm gonna need this for the baby's hair at least. But for the boys, I will use this right now because I had to comb some ketchup out of Christian's hair the other day and it was not fun. I also grabbed this baby monitor. This is the Hubble Nursery View Pro Twin. So it comes with with two different little cameras, which is perfect for us. I like a baby monitor that is like a, a tangible monitor like this. You can carry around the house. That way you're not always having to pull it up on your phone in the middle of the night and try and get things to connect. There's no issues. It's just like so much easier to have like an actual physical one. So I wanted a monitor and I love that this is a twin one. They have a bunch of different cameras too. There were a couple others I was interested in and they did sell out. Hubble has a bunch of resources too. So you can get apps and keep track of some of it on your phone as well. But I'm like, I'm excited to have the two cameras and then the monitor too for us. All right, you guys, this is a big one. Like this is what I'm super excited about because this is a brand that you have heard me talk about a lot. So LV is going to be 30% off as part of Bye Bye Baby's Countdown to Christmas. Like 30%, I've never seen LV products 30% off before. I already have the double 
hands-free pump from last time it still works great so i'm going to have that as well but now they have this one which is called the stride plus and it does have cords but it's like it clips to your belt like that and then it actually is supposed to have like more of a hospital grade suction so whereas a lot of the feedback from the hands-free lv said that you know people were looking for a little bit more of a powerful suction the hands-free one is great for like on the go but in terms of like medical grade hospital grade breast pumps this will fill that gap so i was excited to get my hands on this one it also has like a carrying case and a cooling bag and stuff like that that this set comes with i will also have all of these products linked in the description box down below too so do not worry about that the next product i had to get while it was marked down was a snuggle me lounger we have one of these with arlo i actually just pulled it out of storage and i'm going to wash it we loved it i used it so much and i wanted a second one that way each baby could have one the snuggle me loungers and their corresponding covers are going to be 40 percent off that is such a good deal on these they are absolutely worth it. Like one of my favorite baby products that we used with Arlo. They have a ton of different colors. They're machine washable. I would throw my snuggle me in the washer and even dry them on low heat or delicates and it was good to go. And then the covers make cleaning up just that much easier too. So I got two of these covers in this like rose color. I just think this is so pretty and I'm so excited to work a little bit of pink in here, you know? Not that I couldn't work pink in before, but now just having two girls, I'm just like, I'm just going for it. It's just going to, it's going to be everywhere. <laughs> Next up, got these teethers. These are by the company Green Sprouts. We also use these with Arlo. I actually like to put them in the freezer and it makes them extra cold. And then when the babies are teething, they can chew on them. Even now, if Arlo gets hurt or something like that, he finds comfort in these. I'll get one out of the freezer and he'll either chew or like put it up to his head or something like that. Whatever makes him feel a little bit better. But with teething, these teethers were amazing for us because the babies can grip them really well. They can chew them and I don't have to worry about anything busting and like getting in their mouths or anything like that. They're just like nice and safe and they don't have to go in the freezer, but that's just sort of our little trick to get a little bit of extra oomph out of them. So 30% off all green sprouts. They also have like dining wear or dinner wear for kids and toddlers. So it's a good time to stock up on basics like that. Speaking of basics, Halo sleep sacks and swaddles are going to be 40% off. I'm not gonna lie, I never had the best luck with swaddling my kids. Neither of my boys liked being swaddled. However, I didn't often try the like sack swaddles like this. So I wanted to stock up while these were on sale and I got several different ones to try out for the girls. So I've got a cream one, I got two of those, and then I also got this pretty pink color and got two of those because this is great price on these and anything to help us get a little bit of better sleep with twins, I will gladly take it. They have a ton of options too. Halo makes some really great ones. We did have one of theirs that is probably in my hand-me-down bins downstairs that we used with Arlo, but again, wanted to stock up for the twins. So like I said, I'll have links to all of these things down in the description box down below. Be sure to check out Bye Bye Baby's Countdown to Christmas deals. And then if you're not a part of their Welcome Rewards program, definitely join that as well. It's free to join. So you don't have to pay anything to join the Welcome Rewards, but then you earn rewards back on all of your purchases. So you can earn points and eventually get a $5 off coupon code or things like that. They do have one version of Welcome Rewards where you pay $29 a year. And with that, you get five times the points, you get 20% off every purchase and you get free shipping on all your orders too. So there's a couple different options there, but either way, there's a free rewards program if you're interested in joining too. So check those out. All right. So I'm sitting downstairs. I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> I swear my energy, this pregnancy is like so up and down. I have definitely gotten a lot more energy in the second trimester than I had in the first trimester, but it's literally like i do one thing productive and i have to lay down i have to like recover from it so even just filming that little haul earlier after that i slept for an hour like i napped for a whole hour today which is so crazy because i'm not typically a napper but i just like couldn't function but now i'm up jordan made me some burgers for lunch so we just had lunch and i have all these baby clothes behind me baby and toddler clothes really so yesterday like i mentioned we had our 16 week doctor's appointment by the time you guys are seeing this i'll probably be even you know a couple weeks further along but 
The 16 week was a big one for us because it was my first like big growth scan since my 13 weeks. So during my like singleton pregnancies, which still feels so weird to talk about singleton versus twins, but during my previous pregnancies, I always had an ultrasound at 13 weeks and then I had one at 20 weeks and they do like the first trimester scan at 13 weeks and then they do the anatomy scan at 20. I still do those now, but I have many more ultrasounds in addition to those, which I'm actually really thankful for. So yesterday we went and I had a growth scan which was where they measured my cervix to make sure it's not getting shorter, basically to assess how at risk for preterm labor I am because that's a big risk um, with this pregnancy being that it's two babies. And then they also measured the babies themselves to make sure they're tracking okay. So I'll go for a cervix check every two weeks. It's just an ultrasound, not like the ones you get from your doctor at the end of pregnancy or whatever, but I go for the cervix checks to measure that every two weeks. And then I will also go for growth scans in the meantime and all that good stuff. But the appointment went really well. We didn't get any pictures from them. We don't get pictures every time, but just seeing them felt so good. They're getting so big and like taking up so much space in there already it's so crazy and they're always moving and baby b is always kicking baby a's head <laughs> like every time she's kicking her sister's head in there it's so funny so they're like feisty little siblings in there already and like i just love it i feel like every time we go for an ultrasound i get like a burst of energy even though i just said i took like an hour long nap but yeah, it was a great appointment. They're measuring perfectly on time, like to the day they're measuring exactly how they are supposed to. And then after we went to the appointment, we went to our storage unit and got out all of our baby clothes that I have had in storage ever since Arlo was a baby. I love hand-me-downs, so Arlo has always worn and is still wearing all of Christian's old clothes as long as they're in decent shape. Like, I love seeing both of them in the same outfits. And I'm planning on still handing down a lot of their clothes, even though we're having two girls. I, you know, will give the girls like a lot of their big brother's clothes, but I want to go through it. Some of the stuff I packed away that's probably not in the best condition that I didn't really have to save. And some of it's just like, I don't see them wearing, or maybe it says like big brother, little brother or something like that on it. Like, I don't need that stuff anymore. It's crazy. So yeah, we're going to go through some of these hand-me-downs and pick a bunch to donate and the rest of them I'll move up to the nursery. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna go through the bin with the little baby stuff because I just feel like that'll be like the cutest, you know? Like this is, okay, <laughs> like this is a perfect example. This is so cute. This has sentimental value to me actually because it's a onesie that we tie-dyed these family onesies back in 2020 when we were all stuck at home and we did like DIY tie-dye for all four of us. So I think that's why I saved it. But then you look on the back and there's a freaking blowout stain on the back. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's just the kind of thing, like why did I keep that in storage for two and a half years? I don't know, probably a little unnecessary. This will be super cute to hand down. I remember Arlo wearing this and this can definitely get some more use out of it from the girls. Here's, oh, this is one of those Halo sleep sacks. I mentioned we only had one before though, so it's good we have extras. And we'll save that one as well. This I definitely wanna hold on to. This will go in the little baby box. This custom little onesie with his initials on it. I love this. It had a matching hat too, which I'm assuming is somewhere in here, but that is something I will definitely be keeping for him. The nice thing is that all my kids have had birthdays like around the same time of year. So Christian's in May, Arlo's at the end of March, and these babies will probably come like end of April, early May. So all the hand-me-downs work and are always like seasonally appropriate because they're all tracking along the same schedule, you know? Okay, I forgot how much little room baby's clothes take up. I like haven't even made a dent in this huge thing. This is gonna take me forever to go through all these boxes. I probably won't be able to get it all done today. That's okay. Like this, I don't need this anymore. Little brother. No more little brothers around here. Cause as long as these babies get here safely, this will be my last pregnancy. Oh, 
And then this is the outfit Christian came home from the hospital in. Look how tiny these pants are. Came home in these pants. This little onesie that says, hello world, I'm CT. And then a matching hat too. So I'll be saving those for his little baby box too. I'm totally that weird mom. I like, I don't know if that's weird. Probably a lot of moms do that, but I save like the lock of hair from their first haircut and like all that stuff. We have a video of Christian wearing this outfit when he was first learning to crawl and it is so cute. And I think I put him in like knee highs in it or something. <laughs> so silly. I feel like I need to keep that just, just because. And then Christian also wore home these little gray bear booties. Target still has these and I actually grabbed them in pink for the girls. So I have two pairs of these in pink for them. All right, so box one, these were just newborn to size three months. And this is everything I just went through, newborn to three months. So these are kind of like the most pressing sizes. So if I have to stop right now, because I'm tired, that's totally fine. Plus I still have like a few months. So this is the donate pile. These are all things that are still in good condition that will go find a second life somewhere else. These are things I pulled aside to save for the girls. There's actually more in there than I expected, so I'm happy about that. And these are some things I'm saving just to be sentimental. So one box down, the rest to go. All right, so I am in my office. I'm getting ready to film my first trimester recap video. I'm out of breath just from going up the stairs to get in here. I actually got ready today. So here's my baby bump right now. I'm looking big. So got slippers on with this dress, of course though, but oh, yeah, things are growing quickly around here. So as I'm filming this today, I am 16 weeks in two days, I believe. And yeah, I'm looking big already, but there are two babies in there, so. I'll put the recap video up here too if you haven't seen it, but yeah. I've been taking bi-weekly bump photos and a little video too to make like a reel when this is all over, like how last time I did like the pregnancy transformation video. I wanna do the same thing this time, except <laughs> obviously the bump may be a little bigger. So yeah, it'll be fun to see once we're through the next few months. Um, can I also get, what kind do you want? A chocolate glaze. Can I get a chocolate glaze donut? And then, any other ones? And a uh, Boston cream. Can I get a Boston cream donut? Ice coffee with oat milk and avocado toast. And then can I also get the avocado toast? All right, good morning. So we just left a doctor's appointment. Got some blood work done. This one was a quick and easy doctor's appointment because I was just going in basically for a meeting with my doctor and to get a little blood work. I will be 17 weeks tomorrow. Doctor said everything looked really good and that all my tests are coming back really good. I'm definitely measuring bigger with all my Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> and now we just pulled over to get like a ton of extra food and donuts. And yeah, anything you wanna add, Dad? No, life is good. Life is good. Heard both babies' heartbeats today. This is gonna be the shakiest video. I know, I don't know. I'm trying so hard to figure out a way to prop this up. So we're gonna film us eating now. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't really need to do that. But I thought I could show what I got, almost like a little breakfast haul. Maybe it's only the pregnant people that that will appeal to. And <laughs> don't check this out. Donuts. All right, we're gonna eat, and then we'll get back to the rest of our day. <laughs> Okay, so the last thing I'll be doing for today's vlog to prep is to get this room a little organized. This is the baby's room, and clearly we've got some work to do. Good thing we have plenty of time. So I've got a crib over here I'm going to build. This part is actually part of Arlo's crib, which we'll be handing down, so we only had to buy one. And then I'm gonna organize all this stuff, 
I have so many clothes that I need to put away and organize. I'm actually gonna be doing like a baby girls haul video soon, I think. But yeah, I feel like the second trimester is just moving so quickly and I know the further along I get, the bigger this belly gets, the less I'm going to want to do. I really wanna be able to just spend like the third trimester fully focused on like relaxing and mentally getting ready. So while I have energy right now, I'm trying to do as much as I can to be productive and get stuff done. So let's clean up a bit. This will be the baby's bathroom and obviously still more decorating to do in here, but 17 weeks today, certainly feeling like it. <laughs> We got both cribs set up. So crazy seeing two cribs, <laughs> but we also have the, our new little glider here. I actually love this thing. So it was a little pricier than the gliders I was originally looking at or than the one we've used in the past, but it's super comfortable. It actually turns into a recliner as well, which I remember wishing I had with Arlo. There were so many nights when I was like, up nursing him and I was like oh I just wish I could like push my feet up so I'm excited to have this and then I have the little stool in front of it too but we got the glider all glider recliner all put together and then the crib this fabric is also stain resistant and we definitely need that with two babies and two dogs in the house so yeah super excited about that also random fact a little share that's kind of random the lever for the recliner is actually hidden, which is like super chic, but it's tucked in here. You like pull it open like that, which I really like. But two cribs are put together. One of these is Arlo's like handed down crib. One of them is our new crib. And then we already had two new in mattresses from both boys using them. So I just washed them up, got them in there. I'm gonna be adding some new like blackout curtains here with the gold rod and then I wanna put like a mural up here on this wall or some sort of wallpaper and then put the girls' names and little signs above each crib too. So lots more to do. It's definitely pretty plain in here right now. And then we still have a ton of like clothes and hand-me-downs and a bunch of stuff to go through, but it's coming along. The beds being done is like a huge step. And then because we handed down Arlo's crib, he was actually in this bed last night. <laughs> like he's still been in it just with the little toddler railing. So since we're handing down his bed, we got the boys a new trundle bed. And so it will be Arlo's first time in like a twin bed or not his first time, but his first time in this house and in here. They sleep in a trundle together in Ohio, but not like regularly in California. They've always each had their own beds, even though they share a room. So they're super excited for that. We got them a couple comforters that are new that they already knew about. So they've been talking about their Spider-Man bed and their Jurassic Park bed. And they know that when they get home from school today, it'll be all set up for them. So I'm excited to see their reactions there. It's going to be super cute, but we are getting things ready. And then I'm going to be doing like a little baby girl's clothing haul here. I think that'll be one of my next videos so I can show some of the things I stocked up on during the sales that have been going on. And I will keep you guys updated. I'll definitely do like a nursery tour once it's all complete too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for being here and for your support and just interest in these little beans. <laughs> and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.